What up, YouTube fam? Peace and blessings to all of y'all. It's your boy, Mikey, from Forward Fashion and Kicks, and today, I'm here to give you guys a review on the Adidas Yeezy 380 in the Alien Blue colorway. If this is your first time here, please do me a favor and subscribe to the channel. And if you enjoyed today's video, a thumbs up really goes a long way. You can also hit that bell to be notified every time I release a new video. And that is every Sunday and everywhere in between. Let's get it. Alien Blues released last month on May 31st for a retail price of 230 US dollars and here in Canada for a retail price of 315 dollars. I just want to throw it out there that these are my first pair ever of Yeezys to add to my collection and if you haven't already noticed, judging by my shoe rack over there, I tend to gravitate more towards Nike. Keeping that in mind, knowing that I tend to flock more towards Nike than Adidas creates a little bit of bias between the two companies. But I gotta tell ya, I gotta tell ya, when I first saw pictures of this silhouette and colorway, I was instantly drawn to the shoe. I'm not gonna sit here in front to you guys like I'm some Yeezy expert, because the truth is, to be honest with you, I didn't even know the silhouette existed, nor did I know the shoe was getting released on the day that it was. But, shout out to my girl for giving me the details and helping me acquire this shoe for retail. Seeing pictures and videos of the shoe didn't compare to the feeling I got when I took them out of the box. The first thing I said to myself was, Damn, this is some heat right here. Looking back at the history of the 380, the silhouette dropped back on November 16th of 2019 and the first ever colorway to drop were the aliens. So technically, I guess these would be called the Alien 2s, except not because they're the Alien Blues. From what I've been able to gather, I believe the 380s are the next iteration from the 350s. However, the feel of these shoes are slightly different. The 380s have a more athletic feel to them, whereas the 350s have a more soft and squishy feel. Anyways, aside from all that, let's dive into the details. Starting with the box. Although this is my first pair of Yeezys, I have seen plenty of Yeezy boxes before, and they all look the same. I'll show you guys anyways. It's your typical cardboard box. So, nothing special. Taking a closer look at the materials of the shoe, focusing on the side profile, you can see that the majority of the upper is constructed from this prime knit material which is directly comparable to Nike's Flyknit. Now, if you're not familiar with Primeknit, it's basically a durable, stretchy-like fabric that conforms to your foot like a sock. If you've ever seen the Balenciaga Speed Sneakers before, uh, so in other words, the Balenciaga Sock Shoes, these shoes are pretty comparable to them. Looking at the midsole of the shoe, it's obvious to see that this colorway took many of its style cues from the original OG Aliens. Moving to the outsole, you can see the thick rubber grooves running all across the sole. Sitting right on top of it is your exposed full length boost, which I must say feels amazing. It feels like you're walking on a cloud. And these are arguably the most comfortable shoes that I own in my whole collection. In my opinion, Adidas really hit the spot with this shoe simply by not confusing the consumer. Now, in previous Yeezy models, certain colorways were given the option to get in either reflective or non-reflective materials. In this case, this shoe is only offered in the reflective. If you look around the shoe, all of these gray hits around the prime knit come as reflective. So under certain shades of light, they will look pretty cool. These come standard with your cream colored infinity laces. However, Adidas also gives you a pair 
of the same cream colored laces, but these ones you can tie. Now, usually, I like the look of tied laces, but in this case, because the shoe looks so futuristic, I actually don't mind them. It's kind of like a shoe that you just slip on and go. As far as my favorite thing about this shoe, it's really hard to say because I just love the whole shoe altogether. But one thing that really stands out to me is this semi-translucent hit of light green. It really gives off the alien vibe and honestly, it just looks like an alien just swiped it and left its mark. When it comes to sizing for this shoe, these fit me true to size. If you're unsure and are in between a couple sizes, then definitely go with the bigger one. However, if you have wide feet and wide toes, then you're definitely gonna wanna go up a half size. All right guys, I know y'all can't wait to see the on foot. So, let's grab the sock box. As I was filming this video today, I actually realized I didn't have any Adidas socks. So I went over to the store and I picked myself up a three pack of these Adidas socks. So let's whip them on, and let's get it. Ooh, these are nice. Wow. Alright fam, that just about wraps up my review on the Adidas Yeezy 380 in the Alien Blue colorway. All in all, if you're looking for a shoe with state-of-the-art technology when it comes to comfort and you also like futuristic designs, then you may want to pick this shoe up. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch my review. And once again, if you enjoyed today's video, a thumbs up really goes a long way. Leave a comment down below and let me know what you think of these alien blues. Until next time, peace.